Chapter 11. Functions. In this chapter, you'll learn one of the most important tricks of professional programmers around the world, that is, code reuse. We'll have a look at how functions can help you write cleaner, more maintainable code, and less of it. Finally, we'll see how versatile functions can be with the use of parameters and return values. We've already seen a few of PHP's built-in functions in prior examples, like vardump and printr. Let's have a look at the online PHP function reference. We can search for any function by name or using some related keywords in the search box provided. Let's search for vardump and see what other information is provided about the function. The full function declaration is given, along with a description and the parameters involved. Any return values are also specified for the function. Probably the most important part is the examples section. This gives examples of the function's usage. There are hundreds of others that you can take advantage of in your programs. For example, going back to the main index of the function reference, we scroll down and click on the math category. Here, we can see that many of the common mathematical functions are already created for us. All we have to do is use them in our programs. Here are just some of the common PHP functions that you should know about so you don't waste your time writing your own versions. POW calculates a number raised to a power, since there's no operator that does this in PHP. STR to upper returns the uppercased version of a string. RAND generates a random number between min and max, and string compare compares two strings alphabetically returning 1, 0, or negative 1 depending on the comparison. Finally, there's substring which returns a specified part of the string or substring. Anytime there's a programming problem that needs to be solved, have a look at the list of PHP functions to see if there's one in there that solves the problem or can be used as a piece of the solution. Only after we're sure that there aren't any other proven solutions should we consider writing our own. So how do we create and use our own functions? Well, this can be broken down into two parts. The function call indicates the name of the function to call and any parameters that are to be passed to the function. If there's more than one parameter, they're separated by commas. If the function has a return value, that value can be assigned to a variable or used in another expression. The function declaration defines the name of the function and a list of parameters that are required by that function. This list is provided inside of brackets and can be empty or contain many parameters. As a rule of thumb, four or five parameters in this list is the maximum. Anything more than that and the function should be broken down into smaller functions that call one another. Next is the function's body, which is where we add the group of statements for this function. Finally, within the body, functions can return values. This lets us supply a number of values to a function, operate on those values, then return a new calculated value. For example 11, we've written a bit of a variation on the Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion table we saw in example 6. In this version, we're performing the calculation of the temperature inside of a function. After the calculation is performed, the result is assigned to the Fahrenheit variable. Notice that Fahrenheit can only be used within the function body, so we can't use the Fahrenheit variable in the rest of the program. Let's look at where the function is used. Here, we're using a for loop to create a series of values for Celsius ranging from minus 30 to 100 degrees. Then, in an HTML table, we're outputting the temperature in Celsius for this loop iteration in the first column, followed by the value returned by the Celsius to Fahrenheit function when supplied with the same temperature as used above. This is an example of a program where functions and variables have very appropriate and explicit names. This results in a very readable and maintainable program. Having a quick peek in our browser, we see that this example yields another nice Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion table. PHP has hundreds of built-in functions. Whenever possible, 
These should be used rather than your own versions that do the same thing. Functions provide you with a way to separate out logical parts of a program so that the main program is easier to work with and understand. They also facilitate the packaging of code into blocks that can be reused in the same program or another program in the future. If your functions are getting very large and hard to understand, it's a good idea to separate them out into smaller functions that call each other. Finally, function parameters and return values provide for the ultimate flexibility of the functions you write.